As we discuss the latest and greatest in automated milking innovation, it is important to recognize that Laylee has not only been working on the best way to milk a cow, but how best to feed her as well. This next segment is another reason why Laylee and West Coast Robotics continue to be the market leader in farming innovation. Please welcome back Brian Rodenberg to discuss the Vector Feeding System. I'm proud to say that the Laylee Vector is a viable, cost-effective way to feed your cows. And it is truly ready for the market. But it has not always been this way. <clears throat> the Laylee Vector was released in April 23, 2012. In 2014, due to customer demand, West Coast Robotics decided it was time to bring this product to the BC market. We set to prepare ourselves for a new product in a different segment of the dairy industry. This was a super exciting new challenge. We moved one of our top milking technicians to the feeding department. We went to Germany to assist with an installation and we were ready, or so we thought. We installed five vector systems in 2015. And with the normal struggles of a new product, we spent countless hours on the farms tweaking, adjusting, and improving the installs of our systems. We soon realized the capacity of the vector and the reliability was not what we thought it would be. And then it happened. West Coast Robotics' biggest failure. With alarm calls too high and capacity too low, a vector was being taken out. I will always say that it's not whether you fail or not, it's about how well you fail. So we wrote a big check took back our vector and doubled down on ensuring low, lower running costs and a higher reliability on the farms that were still running. The decision was made to stop selling the units to anyone milking more than 60 cows. And through many software and hardware field validations, West Coast Robotics worked hand in hand with Laley North America and Laley International to bring us the product we have today. And after many trials and tribulations for both my technical team and our customers, Today, we have a system that is ready and working. I must thank the customers and my team for their patience and perseverance through these challenging times. In mid-2019, after a great year of success, we decided it was once again time to sell the Vector Automated Feeding Systems. With our first installation on a farm with more than 60 cows in five years running well, we're excited for what the future holds. So what has changed? Well. There's a new mixing and feeding robot, the MFR M2. It has a high speed auger, which has a helicopter mode, which allows you to properly clean out between mixes. Uh, it has a better quality mix with a new auger, a more powerful motor and faster motor. With these things, we also reduce the mix times, which increases capacity. We have an improved bump ring with less maintenance and a complete stainless steel bin. Sensor brackets that are engineered to stay where they're supposed to be. Less labor for service as the planetary can be removed from the top instead of taking out of the bottom. New self-sharpening knives and obstacle sensors allowing the unit to stop before it even runs into something. We have a new grabber. The new grabber has, has no maintenance. It has more than 10 times the grabbing power of the old grabber, which it makes it better at pulling apart round bales and longer feed types. And it also reduces spillage in the kitchen, creating a cleaner kitchen. Also, because it's more powerful, it has to grab less often, which means it also increases capacity and decreases load times. Software is a plethora of changes. Communication alarms have been basically eliminated and a million small improvements mostly eliminating nuisance alarms where the farmer has to come out and just hit a button to get the machine to work again. A huge part of it is our overall experience. Both Laley and West Coast now have many years and many vectors running. Our, our experience is helping to decrease downtime, increase the quality of the mixing and the loading of the machine. This experience has also ensured that when starting a new farm, we can properly prepare and coach the farmer through the startup process. So I guess the real question is, why would you want a vector? Well, what sets it apart from other automated feeding options? One is it has the lowest install cost of any automated feeding system. There's no need for infrastructure in the barn, such as rails and power strips, because the feeding robot relies on our already proven technology in autonomous vehicles with the Juno feed pusher. 
the grabber. The grabber is a huge part. It allows flexibility in your kitchen. You can have many feed types. Often, if you make a bad third cut, the solution is dilution, which means you need another place for it. If you need a bin or a silo for each individual feed at twenty or forty thousand dollars a box or a silo, this is a substantial savings. I'm not saying there isn't a place for boxes as they increase the capacity, but they also increase the capital and the service costs of the machine. The vector, really what sets it apart more than anything is its ability to feed to the need of the cows. Basically, the vector drives through your barn and it only feeds when the cows have eaten enough of what's already there. This results in a lot less feed waste. We often see on hot summer days where the vector will, will, will the feed the majority of its feed in the evening when it's cooler and feed almost nothing during the day because the cows aren't eating anything when it's hot out. The vector gives you income over feed costs every day in combination with Laley robot milking machines. And it gives you a daily overview of dry matter per cow. Why is a vector better for the farmer? I think the biggest thing is the increased flexibility. There's no weekends as you can load your kitchen on Friday and not have to load it again till Monday. There's no set schedule of when you need to feed because the cows will run out. You just load the kitchen. There is way more data. Data every day and data that relates back to dollars. There's less labor. We see a minimum of 50% reduction in labor due to feeding chores. We also see many farmers increasing the number of loads they feed because we can now properly mix a smaller close-up load or heifer load. So why is it better for the cows? There's lots of research that shows feeding fresh feed on a regular basis results in higher intakes, which will result in increased milk production. One of our clients topped the DHI production chart for his area for the first time in his life with a Lely Vector. We see about a kilogram of fat corrected milk per day increase in production over a conventional system with a feed pusher. The other big things are small batches. Small batches allows you to target heifer groups, which creates a better future milk cow for your dairy farm. Also, you can target your close-ups and dry cows, resulting in less metabolic issues post-calving and an overall better transition. For the milk cows, we see more consistent intake and less gorging. This increases rumen health, which results in higher fat per cow and a better preg rate, and also, once again, less metabolic issues. There's less competition at the bunk, which results in less injuries at the feed fence. There's a higher, the, the lower ranking cows have higher intakes because they don't have to fight for a spot at the feed fence all the time. And all of these things result in a healthier and more profitable cow. Why is it better for your bottom line? The biggest two things are less energy and less labor. The Vector only uses $1,200 worth of electricity per year. This is, this is over $5,000 in total savings. There's less refusals at the bunk due to the feed to the need, which is less feed waste. I always hear farmers say, it's not waste, I feed it to my heifers. Well, you could totally feed your heifers a much cheaper ration than one with cow grain in it. Also, the less forage we use, the less land we require, and we all know how expensive land here is in the Fraser Valley. There's less labor. You save about $10,000 in labor per year on 120 cow dairy. You have a much higher mix accuracy. You have improved cow health due to that, which equals money. I think a big thing with the mix accuracy is just think of it this way. You're using your loader tractor trying to feather in that next 50 pounds, whereas the Lely Vector's grabber can only take 50 pounds at a time. Just the fact that you're using a little shovel in a vector system versus a big shovel makes the system way more accurate. So what about the money? The capital costs of a vector or of a tractor, sorry, of a conventional feeding system, basically you have $100,000 in your tractor, about $80,000 in your mixer, and $23,000 into a Juno feed pusher. This cost per month over 15 years at 4% is about $1,500. The vector system will cost you about $250,000 for the machine, $50,000 for the kitchen, 
which will result in a $2,100 month monthly charge. Now, you have your comparison of capital costs. As you can see, the vector is going to have a $600 premium over a conventional feeding system. What other things are there to consider? Well, at the end of the day, we have service costs. After polling a few of our customers and discussing some things with some dealers, we feel that the tractor will cost you about $4,000 a year in maintenance and service, the mixer wagon the same at $4,000, and a Juno is about $1,000. This results in a $750 a month service cost. The Vector will cost you $10,000 per month or per year. <laughs> per month, that'd be nice. Um, $833 a month is the total Vector cost. So, Basically, when you compare the two things, the Vector has a premium of $700 per month. So how are we going to offset these, these increased costs? Well, number one, let's talk about energy. Basically, your tractor and mixer wagon is gonna use about $6,500 worth of diesel fuel a year, and your Juno feed pusher is going to use about $182 of electricity a year. This is $556 a month. Your vector system uses a total of $1,200 worth of electricity per year, which is $100 a month. Basically, if you compare those, we just saved $450 a month on energy using a Lely vector. Now we take the labor into consideration. If you feed your cows two hours a day with a tractor and a mixer wagon, you're gonna spend $18,000 a year on labor and that comes to a cost of $1,500 a month. We see a minimum of 50% savings of labor on farms with a vector system, which is going to result in a savings of $760 per month in labor costs. So that gives us about $522 a month extra money in your jeans if you have a Lely vector. And we haven't even talked about the biggest dollar savings yet, which is feed waste and the biggest improvements you can make, which is cow health. So at the end of the day, I think that the vector system pays back even faster than robotic milking machines. Thank you very much for your time. And I will turn this back over to Mitch.